new, 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 new. Everybody wants new. <laughs> okay, uh, new products this week. Uh, this is coming soon. Uh, we're stocking the Naomi cover of Make. Mm -hmm. They're on order. They're on their way. Um, people are signing up. When, when we sell them out, that's it. So one time purchase. Yeah. So uh, this is it, and it has a story about the sign of it. It has um, a ton of amazing women from Shenzhen that are featured. Um, Hep was a photographer. Um, there's a couple um, really neat articles. I have it on my digital subscription, and uh, I'm looking forward to the printed one as well. Yeah. So that's a coming soon. This cool, great cover. Okay, next up. Okay, we have a pack of nylon translucent M2.5 screws and standoffs. Um, you get a couple hundred pieces, a lot of like little screws and hex nuts. We're also standoffs, both uh, hex through and also like extender standoffs. I can show those on the overhead. These are handy because um, first off, you get a bunch. They're great for putting stuff together. And they also fit all of our breakouts. So all of our breakouts tend to have uh, 0.1 inch holes in them. So if you want to attach our breakouts to things, that's handy. You know, and you get um, also like these versions, so you can make like little standoff kits and then, you know, attach this to this. And they're nylon, so they're non conductive, so you don't have to worry about it getting in the way of your antenna or your capacitive touch. And now you've got nice solid connectivity. So, yeah, you get like a bunch of, um, ooh, these are small little screws, uh, hex nuts. Um, some slightly longer screws, even longer screws. I think these are like 16th, 8th, and quarter inch. And then a bunch of uh, standoffs in different sizes. More of the smaller ones and then fewer of the, of the bigger ones. And they're in this translucent white nylon, so maybe good for you. We also have them in black. But I think these are a little less expensive because in this kit we got more um, components in the white version. So yeah. I don't know, mix and match. Maybe the absence of, of pigment. Yeah, I think to pigment them actually, it, you know, you, it probably costs a little more. Yeah. Come in this handy storage box, which is nice and secure. You don't have to worry about losing the parts. Okay. Next up. This is one of my favorite products this week. Soldering iron. Yep. This is the best iron. I like it. And it's called Best, it's the brand. But it's actually a very nice iron. Um, we carry a bunch of tools by Best. And so they're like, hey, we have this iron. And we're like, this is actually a really nice iron. So, you know, usually for... A lot of work we do, we have a plug-in model that has like a base and then an adjustable. But this is a um, non-base. This is just you get the pen and a plug. But it has an adjuster controller box and it's really nice and you can adjust the temperature. Also, you can use it um, with hacko tips, which is a really nice new trend. So it comes with a pretty good tip. We got them to bring, uh, uh, provide it with a conical tip. So you can use it for SMT and through hole. But we also have a bunch of uh, tips for, you know, very fine pitch SMT all the way to large through hole available, um, the Hacko tips, and you can just swap them out. So I can, I can show this on the overhead. I'll bring this out a little bit. Okay. So, um, yes, yeah, so this is like a nice, it's not too heavy. It's nice and skinny and it's rubbery. So it's, it's light and comfortable. If you unscrew this, you can see that you can change out the tips. These are Hacko tip compatible with a ceramic heater inside. And you screw that on. Don't do that while it's hot, of course. And then, um, you know, it has a grounded US plug. And then here is the control box. So I can uh, turn this on and then press the little button here to make the temperature hotter or colder. So I'll set it to like 380. And then I can even use my thermal camera maybe to, oh to boy. look at this. Oh my goodness, look, it's getting hot. Getting hotter. Okay, it's hot. So yeah, don't touch it, because it's hot. It, it heats up quite fast for a plug-in iron. And then um, it works quite well. We put together a couple projects with this, and I was like, I was like, this is a really good quality iron. Um, you know, not only for the cost, just in general. So yeah, it's already hot. So yeah. it heats up almost as fast as a um, as a tabletop model, but it's a lot less expensive and it's smaller. And you know, with the adjustable temperature, I think this is a great beginner iron. I think it's one of the nicest beginner irons I've seen. If you don't want to spend like a hundred bucks or fifty bucks 
you can get away with this yeah. for quite a long time. We did it tested and approved, yep. looks like all of our stuff. So. I like it. The only thing is it doesn't come with a stand, so pick up a stand if you yeah. want this because uh, you don't want it rolling around Makes your sense. table. Okay. Okay, I'm going to unplug this. Next up. Uh, Turn off. Okay, next up. Oh, this is actually like two items basically in a yeah. set. We have, so, we, you know, we don't have um, just banana jacks and people are like, hey, you have banana jacks. So we got banana jacks and banana plugs. This is a set of banana jacks. And instead of having like you buy one of each, we're just going to have them in a five pack. You get one of each color, red, black, blue, green, and yellow. This is fully disassembled, but they're, they're panel mount. So um, for the ba uh, banana jacks, you can like uh, drill a hole in your uh, uh, panel panel mount these and then you have this nice colored ring that you can plug in any banana. You don't have to use the ones that we sell. Any banana cable will work. Standard four millimeter cable. And then on the back there's this nice big solid slug you can solder to. And then we also have stackable uh, banana plugs. So these plugs you can see, oh can you go back one? The little set screw. Oh, that's cool. So that screw you unscrew from the end and then you can poke a wire in and screw it down and so you can have a stackable plug that is like you don't need to solder or anything. You can just screw it on. So these are really nice. I thought I'd show these off really fast too. And so the stackable ones, you can barely see it but inside there's the set screw and then I just, you know, I plugged in these wires and screwed it down and then you can stack as many as you want. And then have like, you know, up to I think 10 gauge, 22 to 10 gauge wires coming out. And on the other side, you know, if you want um, to have a jack, they plug into the jack very nicely. And of course you have matching colors, and then you can solder to this, or you can alligator clip to it, or maybe even wrap a wire if you're, if you're just like that. And then um, this screws out and you can panel mount it. It comes with a washer and the screw. So mm -hmm. nice, you know, if you want to make a, a panel or connect to something with panel uh, banana jacks. This is super easy and you give a little kit of pieces and multiple colors. All right, next up, it's kind of a big deal. It is um, not a new Raspberry Pi, but a new addition. Yes, to the Raspberry new Pi. model. This is the yeah. Pi Zero WH. It's just like the Pi Zero W, 1.3 with the camera connector, has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's actually the same exact board, except something different. They solder the header on or on for you. So if you Handy. don't want to do any soldering at all, you want to just have a plug and play project where you plug in a bonnet or a hat or a fat or, you know, wires or whatever. It's a little more expensive because they have to do the hand soldering, which is, it, you know, it, it does take time. Um, so if you're willing to do it, pick up the soldering iron, you know, maybe pick up this iron and do it yourself. Yeah. If you don't want to, you can get a Pi Zero WH and it comes with the headers already attached. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Okay. Next up, the star of the show tonight besides you and the community is? Wow, the SGP30. <laughs> Actually, a lot of people emailed and said, hey, will you make a breakout for this? And we're like, yeah, yeah, we will. And, and we finally did. This is a uh, MOX gas sensor from Sincerion. They call it the multi-pixel sensor. I think they have multiple uh, depositions of uh, metal oxide, uh, tin oxide that they use for gas sensing. This is a really nice gas sensor. So we have a couple different gas sensors. We have the analog ones. And the analog ones, you literally just get like an analog reading or resistor reading and you have to do all the math yourself. And then we have ones like the integrated ones like the BME 680, which um, also give you the raw resistance and they have a library, but it's not open source and you can't integrate it with Arduino. So it's a little tougher to use. Um, and then we have the CCS 811, which is a fully integrated sensor like this one where um, the sensor basically just gives you like the uh, uh, effective carbon dioxide and the total volatile organic compound in parts per million, parts per billion. Um, the nice thing about this sensor is, um, unlike the analog sensors, it doesn't, you know, you can get the raw reading if you want, but it'll calculate all the data for you. Unlike the CCS 811, it doesn't require I squared C clock stretching and it has, um, humidity setting function. So if you set the humidity, it will, it will calibrate with the humidity. Also has a calibration uh, pre-done for you, so it should be uh, much better than the CCS 811 uh, long-term. Uh, if you can store that calibration byte and then reload it um, from your microcontroller. And um, unlike the BME 680, it doesn't include all the extra sensors, but you don't need to use this uh, closed source library. So 
think this is a nice sensor. It can be used by any microcontroller or computer. Um, we have Arduino code and CircuitPython code, uh, but it's very easy to use if you want to port it to another platform. It's like very simple I2C calls. Okay. Nice little gas sensor. All Comes right. it on the breakout, ready to go. And that is new products. Whoa, 